Hi bass players, this video is designed to help you practice Frere Jaca in your orchestra packet. So if you're looking at your music, and please have your packet out, um, you'll see that it's divided into four sections. Um, and we're going to use those when we're practicing today. Later we'll use them when you play it as a round. So if you started at the beginning, your partner in the round would come in when you get to section two. Alright, so starting with section one, the biggest challenge for you, dear bass players, is getting that F sharp in tune. And then just notice that between measures two and three, measure two ends in a D, measure three starts in a D. Sometimes people take out one of those Ds. So let's practice before we start just getting our F sharp in tune. So let's practice going between an E and an F sharp. Just make sure you've got that stretch. Make sure your elbow is up nice and high so you can reach it. from a D just a few times to make sure you've got that F sharp nice and in tune, got your hand spread really far to reach it. So I'm going to do a playthrough of section one and just watch out for that repeated D. Together. This is section one from the beginning. Ready, go. Okay, and then if we move on to section two, you'll see that you cross over to your G string. You have a half note on your A here. Um, you can keep your fingers spread out have that F sharp, you could even keep it down while you went across to your G string for that A. So I'm going to do section two and just notice my hand stays as close to the string as possible so that I can keep that spread between my fourth finger and my first finger. So here's section two and also I'm counting that half note carefully. One, two, section two. time, join me, setting my F sharp. And then moving on to section three, this is our trickiest section. Um, for you, you don't have your string crossing during the eighth notes, the rest of your friends at orchestra do, so you get a little advantage on this one. Um, if you're looking at um, measures, the first couple measures of section three, you'll see that it is a Mississippi and then the next measure completes the hot dog. So let's try that right now on an open G. Echo after me. So now we'll do exactly what your bow does. The hot dog is going to be on your D string and the Mississippi will be on the G like this. All right, can you echo that after me? I'll do it one more time. All right, and now it's time to add fingers. For you, the trickiest thing is going to be that quick switch between the A and the B. So to warm up for that, you could try that a few times. alternate between the A and the B and make sure your fingers are ready to go. And then um, let's do that whole first measure of section three. All right, starting from the A, I'm going to do it a little slow to start. Okay, I'm going to do that two more times so my fingers can really, really get it. Join me for these next two. Ready, go. One, two, ready, go. Okay, and now that our fingers have that first measure, we have to talk about jumping over to our F sharp. So if I do a full playthrough of the first two measures, you'll see what I'm talking about. So you have to really make 
make sure you're hitting the target on that F sharp. So let's practice that first. So you'll use your open G at the end to rotate your elbow over to hit that F sharp. Like this. Rotate down. Okay, let's try that a few times and just land on that F sharp. Make sure you got it. We're going to do that three times. It's the magic number. Ready, go. Okay, two more. Ready, go. three times to hit that F sharp. It's a tricky skill. Um, totally fine. Just pause the video, practice it till you got it. Slow it down if you need to. Remember, it's always better to do it slow and correctly um, rather than fast and a little sloppy. So just make sure that F sharp's really on the mark. It's important not only for this song, but every single one that you play. All right, so now I'm going to do the full two measures, adding that open D after the full the first two measures of section three. Ready, go. Okay, and then a full playthrough of section three. Ready, go. And we'll do one more for good luck. And again, if you don't get it the first few times, that's totally fine. Pause that video and just do it till you get it. Here's the second time, section three. Ready, go. And as you'll see, the most important key to your success there is your hover. If you're going bum, 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 then you're going to have some trouble hitting those fourth fingers. All right, practice section three till you got it. I'm moving on to section four, and you are rewarded for your hard work in section three because section four is all open strings. Again, that's a bass only thing, which is pretty cool. So you have to go D and then to your low A, your open A, and then back to D. good opportunity to practice those string crossings. I'm going to do section four one more time. One, two, ready, go. Okay, now that we have all of the parts together, um, it's time to talk about how to transition from section to section. The trickiest transition is between sections two and three. So we're going to do something that's called subdividing. Subdividing is where you think about a faster rhythm while you're playing a slower rhythm. So um, that is particularly useful when we go from a long note, like the half note that ends section two, to fast notes, like the eighth notes that start, start section three. Um, to practice that to start, I'm going to switch between half notes and eighth notes. So I'm gonna go half note, do day, do day, half note, do day, do day. Feeling that beat the whole time to make sure I'm steady. So here I go on my open G. One, two, ready, go. sections two and the be very beginning of three and I will say out loud what's going on in my head. What I'm saying out loud is the subdividing. So here's section two. I'm going to play a little quiet so you can hear me talk over it. One, two, section two. Thinking those due days, 
I know exactly how fast to start section three. I'm gonna do that one more time. Section two into section three. And I'm saying out loud my subdividing. One, two, ready, go. the subdividing out loud this time. I'm just going to play it. I'm going to do a full playthrough of sections two and three. One, two, ready, go. Once you have these all mastered and all the sections individually mastered, you can try a run through and then you can play along with the full playthrough of Frere Jaca on the Playthroughs playlist. Bye!